left are echoing. Here with us exclusively is on when the Obama suppressed. Back to the phones open. Uh, Mr. Miller, get what it's always like. For tonight's Politically Corrected, we're correcting the Wall Street Journal's Stephen Moore. In an August 11th op-ed, Moore called the Republican-driven sequester budget cuts an underappreciated success because they had resulted in amazing progress. Moore went on to say that cuts to military, education, transportation, and other discretionary programs have also been an underappreciated success with none of the anticipated negative consequences. Somehow, Mr. Moore has missed the fact that the sequester cuts were, in fact, cuts to many crucial programs. Because if he knew what was going on, he'd understand that since the devastating sequester budget cuts went into effect, our economy has lost about 25,000 jobs a month, according to Mark Zandi, chief economist, economist at Moody's Analytics. And thanks to the sequester, tens of thousands of Americans have seen their federal unemployment benefits slashed by as much as 10.7 percent, people living on the edge. Since the sequester went into effect, Meals on Wheels programs have had to cut hundreds of meals from their service to low-income elderly Americans. The Meals on Wheels program in Contra County, uh, Costa County, California, for example, alone had to cut 5.1 percent out of their budget. The program has scaled back the number of meals it serves from 1,500 to 1,300 a day, 200 hungry people. Meanwhile, Head Start education programs have been forced to cancel sessions and classes for at-risk children. For example, the Head Start program in Rockland County, New York, had to cancel the summer sessions for three to five-year-olds and lay off 12 staff members to save roughly $240,000. Like the national program, the Rockland Head Start program will lose about 5% of its budget, or around $415,000 by the end of this fiscal year. But Head Start programs aren't the only education programs being hit by the sequester. The sequester has cut over a billion dollars in federal funding for various special ed programs and over two billion in funding from primary and secondary education programs. And according to the Department of Education, sequestration cut another $60 million from federal funding for schools that educate children who live on Indian reservations, military bases, or in low-income housing. It's pretty clear that the sequester has had some pretty devastating effects on our country and on the American people. And that's why Stephen Moore has been politically corrected.